All right. Um, hello, everyone. Okay, before we start, right, I, I just got to do this. This has nothing to do with the talk itself, but I want to make sure we get this right. Is it better? Yeah, right. Okay, so um, I'm going to ask you all. Sorry, just give me a Okay, right, this is better. Sorry about that. All right, from the talk, before we start, I have a very important thing to do with all of you. You see, um, this has nothing to do with the talk. I'm going to ask you a single question, only one question, uh, but no stress, but it's a very, very difficult question. I'm not trying to put pressure on anyone, but just take a moment, try to think carefully and answer. Shall we do that? Yes. Can I get a yes from everyone? Yes. All right, awesome. So the question I have for everyone today is, can anyone guess who this is? <laughs> me? It's me? All right, see, uh, I was, should I just off this? Yeah. Is it better? All right, thanks, mate. Right, so you guys are right. That is actually me. Um, as you can see, this picture was taken a couple of years ago. The, uh, the resemblance now is I have a bit of longer, uh, everything else stays the same. The, the funny story about this picture, right, I was supposed to go to school to deliver a story. And I was crying because I was scared to go on stage. So my dad wanted to do something different, so he took this old camera that you don't know how you look like until two weeks later after the picture comes out. He took the camera, he took a picture of me. Those are very expensive, by the way. They don't waste the films. So he took a picture of me and he said, Raj, don't worry, you look great, go and do it. And it, it's kind of funny for me because if someone were to tell me, right, back in the day, hey, Raj, one day you're going to be standing in TEDx and talking about space economy, I would just laugh at them. And the reason is very simple. Ignore space economy. I didn't even know how to speak English back then. Now, if I were to bring myself forward, right, at present, I'm an adjunct professor at a global business school. And a lot of my recent work involves space economy. So what I do in that capacity is I teach space economy. I work with companies who are involved in space economy. I also try my best to bring awareness of space economy, like such as this event. And if I were to look in a complete circle, I feel now the boy has grown to a level that I'm able to share my journey, how I found space economy, with all of you. And hopefully, right, you'll be able to find your spot as well as how I found my spot. Now, before we get right into it, I want to address the elephant in the hall, right, in the room. When I first heard about space economy, I had the same question everyone is thinking in your mind, but is not asking me, what is space economy? Right, because for me personally, right, space economy sounded very complicated. One side, it sounded very fancy because of the word space, but another side, it was economy. And economy sounds businessish. So I was thinking, wait, is space economy is about rocket and satellite? I was wrong. You see, as I started researching more, space economy has nothing to do with rocket and satellite. And I found out space economy is a very, very simple thing. In fact, it's so simple, I discovered space economy is only about three things. Only three. See, if you know this string right now, you're done. You know what is space economy as much as I am. So today I want to share with the first one. The first thing I found out, space economy is all about data. It's about the data from Earth we send to space and the data we collect from space back to Earth. That's it. And that kind of makes sense, right? Because think of our lives right now. Every day, we are using data without even realizing. From ordering a grab food all the way to predict hurricane or typhoon, we are using data. And it's possible because when I realized it, I had a sense of appreciation because I realized that space economy is actually allowing us to create, move, and manifest those data. So number one, space economy is all about data. Number two, space economy is all about connectivity and communication. I think you kind of figured this one already because if we are talking about data, the next part of the puzzle is communication and connectivity. And how we are doing it is very simple, through satellite. And I think I don't have to explain this to anyone because satellite is actually allowing us to watch faster internet, have the internet, able to watch TV and et cetera, right? But just for one sec, imagine when we don't have internet, or sorry, a satellite. How would the world look like? And I was thinking about this because I felt the world will still move on. There wouldn't be any change, but the world will be very slow. And space economy is the reason why we are staying so interconnected. So the second thing about space economy is communication and connectivity. The last one is my favorite, is about opportunity and jobs. Yes. Space economy means new opportunity and new jobs. At this point, all of you can ask me, Raj, hold up. I get the data. I get the connection and connectivity. It makes sense to me. 
What about opportunity? It doesn't make sense to me. I'll explain, right? You see, the more we use data, the more we want to be connected to one another, the more we need better technology. Because the older technology can't keep up. I'll give you a very simple example, right? How often are we changing our phone because the data is not enough? The specification is not enough anymore. How often are we telco providers also upgrading their package because they can't keep up with the load, right? So space economy, when you're trying to think deeply, it's actually creating new level of opportunity. And don't take my word for it. I'll give you a real example. I actually had a client, a real client, who was basically working on an insurance company. So the job of the insurance company is basically to do create insurance package. He came up to me and he said, Raj, I have a problem. I'm, I'm pitching with my team, and I wanted to help you with this. So the, the question he had was, Raj, I'm thinking of putting up a package or a premium package for space tourism. Could you imagine an insurance company has nothing to do with space economy, nothing to do with satellite, but they are worried because they feel sooner their client will go to space and come back. The normal insurance package cannot save them because it's not affordable. It shouldn't be right. So that is just for a finance company. So space economy, right, it's stretching itself so far. And the best part, this is just the beginning. Right, so when I found out the definition, right, I said, I remember I sat myself down and I said, Space economy is about three things, data, communication connectivity, and new opportunity and job. But I didn't stop that. I know the economy is not right now. It's coming up in the future. But I wanted to know, hey, how big this economy is going to get? So I started researching and I found out the space economy is going to be 1.8 trillion US dollar. And that doesn't come from it. It actually comes from the World Economic Report of this year. They basically said, across all the regions, right, this is the cumulative worth of the economy going to be in 2035. And for me, right, I don't know about you guys, but for me, this is a shock. It's a big shock because our current global telecommunication sector, i.e., you take a bucket, you put our satellite, our phones, everything that we have, our 5G and LT, everything, that total worth is only 1.8 trillion. So we are saying space economy is going to be almost close to that. And I was like, okay, I get the importance. I get the need, but why so huge? What is the hype behind it? And I started thinking, right? And I found out the reason why space economy is going to become big in the future is actually us. We are the reason. Because you see, our need for data is increasing. Our need to stay connected is increasing. We want to download things faster. From UHD, we want 4K. And I think soon we want 6K videos. We want to be able to have a high quality Zoom video. We don't want any more lags. All this need for to be faster, efficient, staying on the dot, right? It's actually putting a positive pressure on the economy. Therefore, it's creating this another economy called space economy. Right, at this point, I was like, okay, great, space economy is going great. It's going to become the next big thing. And I want to make sure I have a spot. So I did three things to wrap up. The first thing I did was I focused on education and skill set. You see, I understood that. I need to know what is my skill set gap or knowledge gap that I have between myself and space economy so I can try to fix that gap. And when I looked at courses, right, online or anything that I could study, I actually had a bit of an issue. Most of the courses that I found were so much on science, but I also found some courses that I could do. An example, right, I realized data is going to be key. So what I focused on was machine learning because I know I need to be able to synthesize the data. Second, I focused on analysis of data. The last one I was thinking about, you know what? I should also think about analytics because I need to be able to present the data to someone else. So the first thing I would advise everyone to do, if you want to find your spot, is you need to think about education and skill set. But don't focus so much on the space sector, but focus something also closer to you so you can actually do it. Now, the second one that I did, space community. It's always exciting for this one, but I realized if I want to have a future in space economy, I should start talking to people or engage with people who are currently in space economy. Of course, it's easier said than done because I tried a couple of things. Not everything worked. The easiest or the obvious answer is you could join NASA, right? You could go and ask them. But it doesn't work for me because it was very difficult where I come from. But what I did, I did the total opposite. I went to the business side. You see, I looked at companies who already have a foothold in space economy. I asked them, hey, what is your biggest challenge? What are you guys trying to work on? Is there anything I could help you with? And basically, if I can't help, I just want to hear your story. When you do this kind of interaction, you try to understand what is space economy is developing, and you get the latest up-to-date news. 
And I'll share one news that's going to excite all of you. Anyone know here SpaceX? SpaceX is basically the company that revolutionized launching of rocket because they can relaunch the rocket back to back. I had the opportunity to speak with a former SpaceX engineer, and I was asking the same question. Hey, what are you guys working on? What is the latest trend? Is it all about science and et cetera? And he told me, he looked, gave me a straight face, and he said, Raj, it is not always about the calculus. It's not always about the physics. My work also involves securing funding, securing finance. I also need to deal with government people on legal element. I also need to look at marketing. I also need to do a PR. See, when he told me this, right, I was really excited for one simple reason. I didn't feel I'm that useless. I felt I, too, have a spot in the space economy with my capabilities. I can also participate in this gigantic smart industry. So second thing you want to do is associate yourself with anyone from space economy. The last is my favorite, is I focused on myself. You see, right, I'm not a rocket scientist. I don't come from a science background. I don't come from engineering background. My strength is finance and strategy. So I asked myself what I am good in. I'm good in creating strategy. I'm good in assisting capital. I'm good in making a business plan. So I realized if I want to help space economy, I need to do it from my strength, my capacity. And that's exactly what I did. I reached out to startups who are basically trying to do some new things in the space economy. I asked them, do you know how to raise money? Do you know how to do a presentation for pitch tech? I'll help you to do that. You focus on the smart stuff. And that's how I started figuring out my spot in the space economy. You see, at this point, right, I wanted to ask you all a simple thing. If you want to focus on space economy, if you're passionate, you want to think about it in this frame. If someone like you, you're very good in finance, then focus on raising capital for space economy. If you're someone who's very good in engineering, focus on creating a technology. And let's say you're not in the engineering or the finance, but you come across from a law background. Law is your frontier. You are needed to have the legal conversation. You see, focus on your strength, and you can find your spot in space economy. Also educate yourself and try to stay closer to the communication in terms of the industry itself. Now, the last one before I wrap up, right? It's very important that I get asked a lot. Raj, you spoke about finance, you spoke about engineering, you spoke about law. I'm not in any one of these three. I don't have a very selective interest. What do I do when I have a neutral interest? My answer, I think you have the best part than any one of us because the world is your oyster. You get to do anything you want. But for starters, right, there's a lot of online courses that teach us about space economy 101. Most of them are very free. It's about one month commitment. It's online. Start from there. You will learn about space economy, and then you'll find, I'm sure, you'll find a spot where that area that interests you, and then pick it up from there. Space economy is coming whether we like it or not. It's going to be the new future thing. And I want to make sure that you know it's about data, it's about connectivity, it's about new opportunity. Change for chance. Embrace the future of space economy. And I really hope you guys will find your spot in space economy as I did. My name is Rajesh Murthy. Thank you.